we're always happy. We're always happy when my next guest is able to drop by for a visit. In September, he made his network television debut with us, and tonight he's here to play a song off his most recent album, I, Jonathan. Please welcome back to the show, Jonathan Richmond. Yeah! Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. What I'm going to do is tell you a song that is a true story. It happened to me in a bar when I was playing there about a year and a half ago, and this is what happened. I was dancing in a nightclub one Friday night. And that nightclub bar was a little uptight. It was. I was dancing all alone, a little self-conscious. When some kids came up and said, Jonathan, for dancing, come with us. And soon I was dancing in the lesbian bar, oh, oh. I was dancing in the lesbian bar, oh, oh, oh. Guitar. They took me to the lesbian bar in the industrial zone. They took me to dance with them or dance alone. Well, the first bar, it was all right. But in this bar, well, things were Friday night. In the first bar, things were just all right. In this bar, things were Friday night. I was dancing in the lesbian bar, oh, oh. I, I was dancing in the lesbian bar, oh, oh. That's right, guitar. All right. Well, they took me to the lesbian bar. Way downtown, they took me to check the scene and hang around. Well, in the first bar. Things were stop and stare, but in this bar, oh, whoa, things were laissez-faire. In the first bar, things were stop and stare. In this bar, things were laissez-faire. I was dancing in the lesbian bar, oh. Well, in the first bar, folks were drinking sips. But in this bar, oh, well, they could shake their hips. In the first bar, they would drink their sips. In this bar, they could shake their hips. I was dancing in the lesbian bar, oh. Oh, I was dancing in the lesbian bar. Oh, oh, oh. Song. Now you have a you have a real no frills approach to your music. So it would seem. <laughs> How many guitars? Where do, is this your only guitar, or do you have well, more? I got a couple of Japanese ones back at the ranch. There, they uh, <laughs> aren't much that you'd have to worry about anyone stealing, if you know what I mean. This is the main one I got. Yeah, it's the only one I take on the road. Right. So you don't have a huge entourage or anything. No, I got that, that, and that. <laughs> it's a nice system. Now, yeah, thanks. <laughs> now I understand. I understand that you and uh, and Julia have a song. Yeah, we do. <laughs> would you like to hear it? No. Yes. <laughs> of course I would. Now, but this song needs some setup. You want me to tell her you set it up? Who wants to set it up? Well, Stephen Ray came and did a guest appearance on the show when I did that Pat segment, the parody of the crying right. game. And I met Stephen Ray, and we had a wonderful conversation in his dressing room. And I was quite enamored with him. And we had a conversation about Irish bars in New York, and I told Jonathan about it, and then he wrote a song about our conversation. And now she's sorry. And I can't sing. I'm not a singer. Oh, yes, you are. Oh. America's about to find out. <laughs> Irish bar in Manhattan. Or at least one or two. Just because he's born in County Clare or County Cork, where they socialize much more than they do in old New York. Just because I'm Irish, which he says he should have guessed by my name Sweeney, and Irish that I am, <laughs> doesn't mean I know each Irish bar here in Midtown New York. 
I'm more likely to be seen in Central Park. Not Julia. <laughs> Have you ever been to Finnegan's on 23rd in Gramercy Park? No. <laughs> Julia. <laughs> then there's that place, what is it? It's Deegan's over there by Columbus Circle. Have you tried that yet? No. Okay, now there's one right across the street from where you work here in Rockefeller Center. It's Scanlon's Pub. Now, haven't you seen it at least? No, I'm sorry. Conan, what are we going to do with her? It's your call, Jonathan. It's your call. How long you lived in New York anyway, Julia? <clears throat> Just because I'm Irish, he thinks that I should know every Irish bar north of Soho. Just because he's born in Galway Bay, where they socialize much more than they do here in the USA. <laughs> Just because I'm Irish, which he says he should have guessed by something Irish in the way I smile. And there it is. Doesn't mean I know each Irish bar, bar here in Midtown, New York. More I'm more likely, likely to be seen in Central, Central Park. Park. Is that right? She's I'm more likely, likely to be seen in Central, Central Park. Park. That's our song. <laughs> All right, well, remind me to have a conversation with you. You can write a song around. I would enjoy that thoroughly. All right, well, listen, thank you very much. No? Oh, come on, thank you. Yes. All right. <laughs> thank you very much. We got to uh, step away. We'll be right back. Jonathan's going to be at the Lone Star Roadhouse tomorrow night, so check him out. I also want to thank Julia Sweeney for being here. Thank you. And of course, my thanks to Rick Taylor for being here. And special thanks always to Andy Richter, the Max Weinberg 7. That's our show. Have a nice weekend.